Hey guys, welcome back. Hello if you're new, my name is Sarah and I make lots of videos like this, mom videos, day in the life videos. I also make a lot of plus size fashion videos, beauty videos, what's for dinner videos, decor videos, cleaning videos, all of those things. So if you like any of that type of stuff, I would love it if you checked out the rest of my channel and hit subscribe and turn on the post notification bell if you are interested when I post and like to be notified. Um, yeah. So today's video is going to be another day in the life video, except it's going to be like days in the life. Not quite a week in the life, but like days in and out of days. <laughs> There's a lot going on this week and I just wanted to share it with you. I didn't want to have to pick just one day. So we're tweaking, we're doing what we want, right? There's no rules on YouTube for the most part. There are a lot, but you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so this week is a big and exciting week because it is the week before Ollie goes back to school. And this is actually the first year in about six years that I will not be actively working. For six years, um, I worked with my mom at our own home daycare business and then I took over the business the past two years after she got diagnosed with cancer and this year is the first year that I'm not doing it and I do plan on going back next year but I decided to take a year off for um, just to spend time with the girls as Ollie's last year before she is officially a schooler and then through you know school for the next at least 12 years or so so I just wanted to be with her and just spend time with her um, and do fun things and yeah so I took off this year so it's gonna be really weird not like going back and like having my own school program um, but I still am really excited and I still plan on doing a lot of things and I plan on really trying to get a good schedule for uploading and really put a lot of effort and work into my YouTube channel which I am incredibly incredibly excited about and so I hope you guys are excited too so that being said, Ollie has meet the teacher tonight, or uh, Thursday in a couple days, and so we're getting ready for that, and tomorrow I think we're going to do a little bit, a tiny, eensy, eensy bit of back to school shopping. Um, if you guys already watched my back to school haul, I have pretty much everything that I feel like she needs right now, um, but I think the girls both need some new shoes. I bought them ones this summer, and I feel like they've just grown so fast. So we're going to go to Target and check out the new shoes. They do have, like, I think a buy one, get one. 50% off or BOGO something right now. So we're going to go check that out and see what their deals are like. I normally really, really love Target's shoes. Um, I will say that I don't think I looked at all really this year at Target for back to school clothes. I've just been really underwhelmed, to be honest with you, with a lot of their stuff. Um, I do like their like Oshkosh, whatever genuine kids line that they have and a couple of the other things but they feel like they're just really expensive for what you get and so I just haven't really looked at a lot of their stuff the cat and jack stuff I used to really love and I just haven't liked any of it this year either so I'm interested to see what they brought out for back to school and kind of what they'll do for fall but I do love their shoes so we're gonna go and kind of see and take a little sneak peek and see what else that they have I don't think they have any fall stuff up yet but who knows who knows so I just wanted to take you guys along my week this week and kind of spend time together. Um, I did get a couple of things from Amazon that I wanted to share with you because I love sharing my stuff with you and I hope you like it too. Um, I have been using for like all of last year for um, Olive's lunchbox. I used like those, it was a specific brand that I found on Instagram, but they're like the Tupperware almost type of um, bento boxes and they have the multiple colored lids and then the base is clear. Um, I used those and I loved them. Still love them. Still will use them. But I wanted to get something that's a little bit different to try to switch it up. So I went on and I know everybody and their mother probably has a yum box or knows about them. But I decided just to like spend the money and get one. Now these things are so expensive. This was like $30 to me, which is crazy. But I will say that it does feel nice and sturdy. It's nice and durable. It's hard. Um, I like that it's latched. And I got the purple one. Um, they have a bunch of different colors. But I liked the purple one because it had 
like a Paris themed inside of it, which Olive is obsessed with like Paris and France because she loves Fancy Nancy who loves Paris and France. And so I just think this one was super cute. I love that this completely comes out and so you can clean this out, wipe this out, put this in the dishwasher. And I think this is really nice. Plus it's like a silicone lined up here. So it suctions to all of the um, top. So you can put like liquids and stuff in here and it's not gonna like get out of everywhere. I mean, I probably wouldn't put soup in here, but like yogurt and stuff like that, I think would be good. So I'm excited. I think this will be really fun and I think she's gonna really like it. So I just hope that it was worth $30 cause that was expensive. I just think they're really attractive and they always look fun and I feel like it's not as much effort for the mom to be honest and they still look really fun and bento-y. Um, I did get her a pack of food picks. I also picked some up from Target the other day. Um, I just went in for a quick couple of things and I found them and I loved those ones but I picked up these because they're little eyeballs and they're super cute. I'm sure you've seen them if you watch like kids food channel stuff. Um, but I just think they're happy and I think they'll be really fun to like decorate her food, especially during like Halloween and stuff. They're super cute. So I got her a pack of these. I think that if you have a Daiso near you, um, they have these in store, but if not, you can order them online. So I will of course link everything I'm showing you below and then the fun stuff for me. So like I said, I want to get in a better like schedule and routine. I feel like I, I forgot days of the week this summer all the time. Like I would totally just, I don't know what day it is. I don't know what month we're in almost. Like I've been lost in translation for like this whole entire summer. And I knew that going through, going on and not having like a, a weekly schedule as far as like my job goes that I needed something to keep me on track I wanted to be able to plan out my videos I wanted to be able to plan out lunches and meals and all of that stuff so I needed a new planner now I have spent so much money on planners in the past and stickers and custom Etsy, Etsy orders and all those stuff and as much as I love that stuff and it is so much fun I also feel like I never use it because it's like it gets overwhelming I'm like oh, I need a plan but I also like don't want to have to like put all the stickers on but I think that it looks weird if it doesn't have the stickers on and I like the stickers but it takes a whole extra hour and all this stuff I just needed a basic planner so I found this one on Amazon and I really really like it I almost got another happy planner but I was like I feel like I'm not going to utilize it as much as I love it I loved the one I had last time but I feel like I just never utilized it. So this one is super basic and it's from Pretty Simple Planner and it's called Girl on the Go. And I think they have a bunch of different um, covers. I just really liked this one. And this is 2019-2020. And the reason that I like it is one, the dailies have like your basic, you can just you know jot down what you need to do that day and then like tasks, which I really like. But if you don't put stickers, I feel like this could still easily be dressed up and pizzazzed up with stickers. But if you don't put stickers in it, it's not going to look blank and missing, um, which is what I really like about it. And then for like the months of the year, they are already charted out too. I like like the hand lettering almost, uh, but they're pretty basic. You have a note section on the side. But, and then like cute little quotes, but it's nothing over the top or really you know, like you need to put everything in there. And I think this will be really good for me to be able to plan out videos, meals, keep track with Olive's, all of her like field trips and stuff going on at school. Same thing with like stuff my husband's doing. So doctor's appointments, all of those things, I think it's gonna be really nice in here. So if you are like me, want something just simple and really cute, I recommend this. I think this was like $7.99. It was really inexpensive, cheaper than all of the other planners that I looked at even in store. And I like it a lot more. The only thing I will say is this is like a little cardboard paperback kind of book. So you have to be careful. It's not going to be super sturdy. Like I wouldn't think this would travel super well unless you're really good about taking care of those types of things. But I think just having it on at home and stuff like that will be perfect for it. And then lastly, um, I have a Bible study journal, but the majority of it is just filled with sermons because I love to watch sermons and write it and the, write, you know, keynotes. And then I like to go back and look at the um, Bible verses they pick and then kind of do a study based and centered around that. 
um, but I don't feel like I have just a separate journal for just Bible studying and I kind of just want to have one for sermons and one for Bible study but I want it to be a bit more organized so I found this one I also believe this was like eight dollars or six dollars or something like that and it's just my Bible study journal and it's very basic but once again kind of like that hand lettering it just has date scripture area and then notes and reflection on that scripture and then prayers and praise so something really simple something that you could easily do and make sure you get daily bible study time in and quiet time in without it feeling like oh gosh man this can be really heavy or i have a lot to write down like i feel like this is perfect and i really like it i feel like it's really encouraging so if you're struggling with having bible study time or quiet time i think this is a really good opportunity to kind of like take advantage of this and really get more time in because it doesn't feel as pressury. I don't know if that makes sense, but like just be able to have something perfectly written out and then have a section to really like focus in on that verse in particular and like prayers and praise. I don't know. I just really like this a lot. Super inexpensive. I do recommend this as well. I think it's going to be really great. I believe that these are both by the same company because they have like very similar backings and everything and they feel like the exact same but I like them a lot. I'm really excited about them. Of course, I'll have everything linked below. They're all from Amazon. And yeah, I hope you guys like this little mini haul. So um, I gotta work. I have stuff to do with my YouTube. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that. And then I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, it's a new day. Had a couple of tears, you know, stressed out mom moment. I'm also breaking out. I don't know if that's from stress or if that's from that. womenly days. Um, my mom's here. We're gonna head into Target and look for shoes. Ollie's beside herself excited for back to school shoes. Eleanor, how do you feel about back to school shoes? Shoes? That's how she feels about it. <laughs> um, so ignore my face and any, you know, pimples you may see. My husband like spots a pimple a mile away and like begs me to pop it because he's like a pimple popper fiend. So if you guys like that, I apologize because I'm sure it's going to be real annoying. <laughs> anyway, as I touch my face and create more pimples, let's go inside. Let's see what we can find. I would love to see that they miraculously change the dollar section to fall stuff, but I don't think that's happened. But you know, high hopes, high hopes. Let's go inside. Hold my hand. Say hi. Shoes. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Shoe section. We go. Here, all of you need these shoes for, for school. No. You don't think you can make it? Okay. Well, all right. Then. Oh, these are pretty cool. Look, these like color change or the sequin Ooh, flip. Wow. Not interested, huh? I love these little ones. Those are cute. Oh no, Ellie, I found what you need. Pugs. Oh my, look <laughs> Light up. Okay, let's go see. Oh, these cute little leopard ones. Cute leopards. Oh, I like these little leopard ones too. I don't know where they are, baby. Let's look. Okay, she has been hunting. Olive has been hunting these My Little Pony ones. She has the best memory and has remembered these for months and has been wanting. Oh no, they don't have them. Baby, I don't see them. Can you show me? Can you style them? Can you pose? Oh, so cool. Do you like them? Yeah. Okay, put them down so I can see your toes. Okay size 10. Yeah, I think that's what she'd be in. <laughs> Super cute. What do you think, Ollie? Ooh, you love them? What did you find? I guess the What did you find? Mm. Who's on them? Mm. Who's on them? Who's that? Mm. Who is that? It won't be better before the king Why do you act like you don't know now? You've been so excited. 
Who's that? <laughs> oh, Ellie, what do you think? Look at you. What do you think, Ellie? Thumbs up? Thumbs up or thumbs up? <laughs> what do you think? They're not woody. Huh. They're super cute though. I love the little rainbow sides. So cute. Looking good, Ellie. Okay. Show me. Let me go see about. Wow, Ellie. <laughs> what do you so think? Here's a se here's sevens. Ellie, what do you think? Yeah, they seem kind of good. You like the lights? Ellie, can you show me them? These ones, they look so much smaller. Oh, looking so good. Stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Ooh. What do you think, Ellie? Thumbs up? Thumbs up. Did you give thumbs up? Yes. Okay. So we are back. We just got home. Chaos ensued at Target, so I didn't get a... I didn't get to finish filming, so Eleanor had a breakdown. <laughs> um, anyway, they are having buy one get one 50% off shoes right now at Target. I don't know how long that will last, but it is going on online as well. <clears throat> Art stuff back there. Anyway, um, I don't know how long it'll last, but it is going online. So if you are interested, I would check it out now. So they both got little tennis shoes. Um, I'm normally not one to buy the girls a whole lot of like sneaker style shoes because they don't always match with everything. They're always really colorful and I'm just super stupidly picky. But it's what they wanted, it's what they liked. So that's what they got. So for Eleanor, we got these little sketchers that light up. Um, they're super cute. I wanted the pug ones. They had pug sketchers and she liked them a lot too, but they did not have them in her size. They only had one pair left. So I was a little disappointed, but it took us a long time for her finally to decide on these ones. Oh, there's kind of like already hurt there. But it took her forever to finally decide on these ones. She wanted the Woody and Buzz ones, but they only had size seven or eight, one of them, and they seemed already really snug and they didn't have a size for her. So we didn't get those, although that's what she was like convinced she wanted. So we found these, that's why we had breakdowns. <laughs> so we found these, um, but they're still really cute. I love the unicorn and I think she'll like them when she actually wears them. Um, but these were $29.99, which seems crazy expensive to me for kid shoes, but I digress. And then of course, Ollie found Jojo Siwa ones, also stupid expensive. These are 24, um, and but they are really cute. I will say that they did put a lot of effort in like, like, even like the shoelace holes are little stars. I think that's cute. Of course, they have all the little bows, and I will say that I feel like these are really nicely made. So like these don't, the sequins feel like really sewed in nicely. They don't feel really cheap. So although these were stupid expensive, I feel like. They're really cute. These are actually cheaper than Eleanor's. These were $24.99. We got a size 10, but they're adorable and she's obsessed. We went there looking for My Little Pony ones, but they no longer had them and she was heartbroken until she found the JoJo Siwa ones. So really cute. I think they'll match a lot of what she has and she was really excited. And then for shirts, we did get each a shirt. Um, Eleanor is obsessed, like I said, with Toy Story. So we settled on a shirt. This is Always a Hero with Buzz. This is in the little girl section, like the little toddler section. Um, and this was $8.99. And then Olive, they did have some of their Halloween clothes out, at least in the girl section, like the bigger girl section. Um, they did have some of their Halloween pants and shirts and skirts, and they had a JoJo Siwa one, and they have JoJo Siwa Halloween bows. So we'll have to venture there. Um, but this is super cute, it says Scream Queen. And it's $8.99, so if you have a little one who's also really into JoJo and wants, like, if you like Halloween stuff, I, I don't mind getting, like, the cheesy Halloween and holiday, like, shirts because they're so cute anyway. So, anyway, they have JoJo Siwa-themed Halloween stuff now. Who knew? Hey, guys. It's Wednesday. Um, again, I'm not wearing makeup, so please excuse this mess. Um, I have to wear makeup, a lot of makeup the next couple of days. And I'm just trying to let my stress pimples leave me, you know? 
anyway, I'm sorry I didn't pick up the camera back up yesterday. I just, it was a rough one. We lost somebody that we loved very dearly, and it was just a rough day. I feel like everybody was just feeling it. I felt like we all just felt really heavy yesterday, and so I just didn't pick it back up, so I'm sorry. But today's Wednesday, and tomorrow we have Ollie's back to school, meet the teacher night, and um, yeah, so we're all really excited about that. But today is Wednesday, and we're gonna go back to Target because Eleanor hates the shoes we got. It was a huge disaster, a huge fit that we threw. Um, and she is very unhappy with the shoes. So, I just want her to be happy with what she gets. Like, I want her to like it. I don't want to, like, force her into a pair of shoes that she absolutely hates. Um, so we're gonna go and see if we can find her a different pair at a different Target. Kind of see if they have a bigger selection. We're gonna go to a Super Target. And then, we're gonna go to the library. Yesterday, um, I finished the book I was reading. A lot of you guys have asked me in the past about books because I did mention in one of my What's For Dinner videos about book clubs um, that I go to with my friends. And um, so I just wanted to quickly throw a couple out there. Um, we've read a number of books so far in a book club. We've read um, Little Fires Everywhere, which I did not like at all. I do not recommend that book. We read Wedding Date, which was really cute. It was pretty like Hallmarky. Um, we've read The Woman in the Window, which was pretty good. It was like a good suspense and thriller. Um, it was good. It was good. I would recommend that one. I think that was pretty good. Um, and we've read You, which has been my favorite of all of the ones that we read. I keep wanting to say Maggie Collins, but that is not the author. Any other day I could tell you who the author is, and I can't figure it out today, but You is excellent. It is very dark. It is very graphic and kind of disturbing. Not kind of, very disturbing. So it's not like a lighthearted Hallmark book, like Wedding Date. So if that's not what you're into, not that you should be like into disturbing things, but you know what I'm saying. Um, they do have the series on Netflix. It was originally on Lifetime. Pin Badgley is the, uh, he plays Joe. And it is great. He does an amazing job. I will say, however, the series and the book differ quite a bit. Um, so, you know, if you're not up to reading that book, I would recommend the show. I think it's great, but they are not the very, not the exact same. Um, but that was probably the favorite book my favorite book that we've read so far. It was so good. I think that I'm gonna go pick up two books at the library today and I will show those with you. Is anybody love YA still and you're an adult? I'm 28 year old woman and I love YA still. I kind of got out of it for a while because I felt like I just couldn't relate to a lot of the characters anymore, like a lot of their mindsets because I was an adult and I wouldn't make the same decisions. But as of recently, it's been really enjoyable to read YA novels again. I don't know what happened, like that little time there, but I'm back into it. So let me know if you guys like YA. And I also love adult fiction um, as well. Let me know some recommendations below. I would love to be reading what you guys are reading. And um, if you guys want to talk books, let's talk books because I love, I love books. I love to read. All right. Let's go to Target, let's go to the library, I will show you what I've picked up, and yeah, let's go. Take care of me And my fragile heart It's yours to keep but it can break apart I'll take care of you And all of your hopes Hold them in my hands While we learn the rules Because my love is here to stay
guys it is so freaking hot outside i could die i could just kill over i hate it i'm over it i'm sweaty in places i didn't know i could sweat i'm about to take the coldest longest soapiest shower i've ever taken but first i wanted to recap our our target experience again because today we'd hope for better odds right i talked it up to ellie she was excited we walked in with enthusiasm i was like it's gonna go great we had a sales associate come over two times not once but twice to make sure we were not abusing our children um stuff like that i could just tell like there were so many women who like walked back walk past like most judge mental faces and i was so frustrated because i'm like you cannot tell me one literally nothing had i done besides offer to get her new shoes that's why she was screaming it was not like i was pushing her and pulling her or hurting her or yelling at her nothing of the sort literally just showing her options like would you like this shoe? Okay, maybe not. All right, well, maybe Ellie, why don't you try to go pick a shoe you'd like? Or maybe this is too many options, let's narrow it down. What have you, you know, trying to be as sensible, as smooth as I could be, but the amount of stares and judgments and checkups that we got today really frustrates me because I feel like, and women do this all the time, I feel like women hate on other women in every role of their life, whether it's a coworker, whether it's a friend, whether it's a mom, whether it's like a romantic partner, what have you, acquaintance, sister, every role you could be, I feel like women hate on women and I don't understand that. Like the amount of women who just seemed like they were so judgmental and were like oh wow you need to get her under control or like you're being a bad mom or i can't believe you're letting this happen in the middle of target or just stuff like that and i want to be like first off you cannot tell me especially the sales associate like this is the only time you've ever heard a toddler scream at the top of her lungs okay like i'm sure that you hear kids throw temper tantrums quite often Target's a kid-friendly place. There are a lot of fun things for kids to look at, and I have definitely seen a million kids throw temper tantrums. This is the first time that I've ever experienced such a bad one in the middle of the store that was actually my own child. But I just, it irks me when people are like that, and I was waiting for someone to come up and give me their opinion, but I just, like, rather than being rude and being judgmental, why not be supportive? You know, like, why not be encouraging or try to help out the situation or, or just ignore it and not act like this is a big deal? I just don't understand why women have to be so competitive and have to be so cruel to one another and have to, like, hate and feel like we're in this competition all the time. I just, I notice it all of the time. Why aren't we supporting other women? Like, it is a rough world okay and i want my girls to grow up like loving on other women and supporting them and being advocates for them and i just feel like i worry about how cruel they can be because like, it's just anyway long story short it was a rough experience but we did come out victorious so ollie got another pair of shoes because these ones were on sale and they're so gosh darn cute she already tore the tag off but they're pugs and they're little Velcro, and they are Skechers. Um, these were originally, they light up. These were originally $30, and we found them on clearance in her size. These are the only ones left in the store for $8. I was so excited. I will say they feel really, like, thin. Like, I don't feel like this material is going to wear very well. That may be why they're discontinued. But they're really adorable. She's already gotten, like, hair attached, so that's that's great but anyway super cute she was really excited about them so i'm really glad that we were able to find these and they were such a good price for eleanor for eleanor we got boots these are her woody boots these are the only thing that seemed to be like working for her 
They are really cute. They have like little fringes. I really like them. I love the stud detail on them too. I think they're really adorable. She wants to be Woody for Halloween, so these will work out really well. And I just think they're adorable. Anyway, these will be great. Sorry for my kids, they're playing hide and seek. <laughs> these will be great for like fall and winter time, I think. Um, and they'll go with a lot of what she has. I'm hoping they're comfortable. That's my only concern is they're kind of stiff. So I'm hoping we can break them in and they won't be too uncomfortable for her. These were pretty pricey though. They were $27.99, but we did do like the buy one get one situation um, and when we returned the ones that we got yesterday that she didn't like. So these worked super cute. If you have a Jessie or a Woody fan in your life, may I recommend these. They have some of their Halloween stuff out. I think I mentioned that to you guys yesterday um, and we were going to get these and we ended up not but we found them today at the other Target and decided to buy the bullet because we figured they'll be sold out when we go back. But these are just little black leggings for Olive. These are in the little girl section. We're um, only $7.99 and these were an extra small four or five. I feel like these she actually probably can wear next year too. They seem kind of big and they're super stretchy. I'd like to be able to like get her holiday stuff through two seasons if I can. So I'll buy it a little bit big so she can wear it for two years in a row. Um, but I just think these are so cute. I love all the different like, uh, witches hats and little books and moths and crystals. They're super cute, very on trend. I also got this to add to her backpack fairy, which we're gonna have come tomorrow. Technically, you're supposed to wait till the first day of school, but honestly, like, I'm doing what I want. So we're gonna have it tomorrow because it's her meet the teacher, and so she can kind of get really excited for school. So I think I'll probably do that every year is like meet the teacher. Um, anyway, we found this JoJo bow in the dollar section. It was $3, but she really has been wanting like a keychain for her backpack. And I think this will be nice because it's Jojo Siwa. I mean, it's a little bit ridiculous, but I think it's cute. And it has like a little zipper so she can like keep God knows what. She likes to stash whatever she can, but I just think it was kind of cute. So she has this whole Jojo bow keychain. All right, please ignore my fuzzball head. Look how fuzzy. Oh man, I need, a, I need a haircut real bad. Anyway, I took a shower. I feel so much better. We had dinner. Um, I just spent like three hours writing Ollie, filling out Ollie, my, lose my voice apparently too, filling out all of Olive's enrollment paperwork and stuff for her pre-K. <sighs> She's starting this week and I'm really tired. I really want to start on one of my books, but I just don't think it's going to happen. So I am, however, going to do Backpack Fairy tonight. Technically, what I've seen is the day before school, but I feel like sometimes, I don't know, maybe like a couple days before school or whatnot, I think I'm going to do it tonight because she does have Meet the Teacher, so she has enough time to get excited and see like her back to school things and stuff like that without like, okay, she's going to school that morning, so like we're not in a rush, it's not as crazy, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm going to do. I've had a couple of you guys comment on my back to school haul saying that you guys are going to do the backpack fairy too and that makes me so happy i hope you guys enjoy it and i hope that your little ones enjoy it too so i'm going to set that all up right now and i will show you the finished outcome when i'm done them to be excited and feel loved spoiling them every now and then I think is okay so like I said before Olive has a lot more but she's also four going on five and she's going to school whereas Eleanor is only two and she doesn't go to school besides with me so she got a little bit of stuff 
Um, but honestly, I don't really think she's going to notice too much of a difference. But I did want to include her. But her backpack is all ready to go. And Olive's backpack is right here. So tomorrow morning, we'll have some fun things to play with and stuff during the day. And then we do meet the teacher tomorrow night. Oh my gosh, girls, come quick, come quick. Come here. Oh, you opened it. Good job, Belly. Yeah, Twilight Sparkle. Scissors. Wow, she must have known you wanted new scissors. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like how I, I have some stuff. They are new stickers. Yeah. I I need all the numbers, but I have new. Ellie, come here. Who's that? Welcome back. <laughs> Today is Thursday, so I haven't picked the camera all day. I'm really sorry about that. Um, we actually just got back in from Meet the Teacher, and I will insert a clip of the girls in their outfits that they so very proudly picked out and wore today. And we've successfully moved past the um, the uh, shoe dilemma with Eleanor. She is very happy with her new shoes. Ollie is very excited to start school next week. My hair looks like a Chia pet and it's hot. It is so dang hot. So I need to start cooking, <laughs> but it's so hot. I need to clean, but it's so hot. I literally just want to lay like a potato and not do anything because I can't stand the heat. Oh, we got our Jojo unicorn bow, our Jojo shirt. Our shiny metallic silver shirt and our new JoJo shoes. Woo woo! Skirt. Ellie, we got our Buzz Lightyear Always a Hero shirt and our what? Woody Boo! Woody Boo's looking good! Alright, we are kid free! Um, they're having their sleepover tonight. It's officially Friday. Hello. I'm sorry that I've been like the worst vlogger this week, but it is Friday. We are going to pick up our groceries and be our parenting deeds. And then we're going to build a fort because we're grown adults and that's what grown adults do. Jazz, you want to say what we're doing tonight? Harry Potter. You want to elaborate? <laughs> <laughs> We're watching all of the Harry Potters, no, no. every single movie, all nine of them. We were You're not... looking at the window. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we're building a fort, we're watching Harry Potter, we're having dinner, we're not having kids in the background yelling, fighting, biting, slapping, pooping, none of that. It's gonna be a great night. So Jazz, I think I mentioned this, but I'm not positive. Jazz has fallen asleep every time we've tried Harry Potter. He never got into them as a kid. He never read them. He doesn't like reading in general. <laughs> um, but he doesn't, he didn't read them as a kid and he never really watched them as a kid for movies wise or like growing up. And then um, we tried watching them because I was flabbergasted. I, I read The Outsiders. That was good. Were you thinking the whole time? Yeah, like, I was like what, what did I like? <laughs> um, we, so I was flabbergasted, slightly even offended when I found out that he didn't like Harry Potter. Like, who doesn't like Harry Potter? And if some of you say you don't like Harry Potter, I popped them on. I was about six months pregnant with Olive at this point, and he fell asleep through every single one we watched. I had to try to recap them, and he didn't like them. But recently, probably because of my ambient rooms, which if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I will make sure I show you later. I mentioned it in one of my videos, but if you haven't, you have no idea. I'll show you later. Anyway, um, I think that he's like slowly getting excited, you know? The wizarding magic is coming alive in him. So, 
anyway, we're gonna watch it. <laughs> That's all I had to say. So if we just fall asleep, I'll keep you updated on the progress. We're only watching Sorcerer's Stone, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so we're home. The groceries are put away, and I'm in my Power Rangers t-shirt that I got a couple years ago. I still love, and we're about to build a fort. Don't talk to me about the laundry. I cannot wait till we get a house so I can just hide the laundry basket. <laughs> I hate seeing it in our room. Anyway, we're about to build a fort. Um, Amanda from Hot Mess Mom put on her Insta stories recently about how Walmart always gives her like goodies and stuff every time she goes. We don't get it every time, but we do get it pretty, not regularly, but like Easter time, Christmas time, Super Bowl time, like bigger holiday and like things going on. Um, and we got like two big things today from for back to school. So I love when they send the reusable bags. I use these all the time. I love them. So we have a back to school bag one. And this one just has a bunch of treats and coupons. Like half the bag is full. I don't think we've ever gotten that much before. And then they also sent us the like Walmart, what are those called? Little backpack things. And it has like a bunch of like Walmart grocery water bottles, a power bank, sunglasses, and a fan. So I don't know if it's like getting ready for football season or what, but I think that was hilarious. Here's what we're working with. I got our thumbtacks. I'm gonna put some fairy lights on, and hopefully it looks like a cozy little burrow. All right, friends, we are in our fort. So we do have a little gappy hole I wanted to fix, but um, we have no flat sheets because I don't sleep with flat sheets, so we normally just donate them when we get them. I don't like flat sheets at all. I think it's weird when people sleep with them. Um, so we only have a bunch of fitted sheets and a duvet. But I think we may do, and it's super cozy. We got our little lights going up here. And we got our TV on our coffee table. And this is what I was talking about. This is my like ambient world playlist. And basically they just do like a lot of different like soundscapes with like cinemagraphs, which are basically like moving pictures. Um, this one is just like rain with a uh, like hot steamy cup of coffee or tea or what have you and it has like autumn foliage in the background it's super relaxing but there's a ton of harry potter themed ones like all over hogwarts um and the weasley's burrow everywhere and they're so cozy and relaxing let me put one on for you to show you i will link this playlist below um none of them are my creation they're only all different creators who did an amazing job i just created the playlist of ones that i just really enjoyed and loved let me find a really good harry potter one so this is hogwarts like uh rainy windowed hogwarts and it's just so relaxing and cozy i will leave it linked below like i said i called it escape to another place and it literally feels like that i we go to sleep with these i get ready to these i clean to these i just veg out to these I edit to these like literally these are on all the time and they're amazing they have a ton of Christmas one ton of fall Halloween themed some spring some summer like they have Game of Thrones Harry Potter Sherlock Narnia Hocus Pocus like everything you can think of they're magical I love them so I have the playlist linked but we're cozy Jazz is just doing a little little fort cleaning a little fort tidying up over here and we're just going to enjoy our evening. I'm so excited. Okay, we've got some dinner. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I'm having Panda, and it's gonna be a good night. I think that'll be all from us tonight because I'll probably forget to pick up the camera before I fall asleep. So thank you guys so much for watching this day in the life slash week in the life. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you um, have and you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you subscribed. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my name is Sarah England. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all very soon on my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to say bye. Bye.